everyone. I'm so glad to have you back. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you stay till the end and subscribe. My name is Ashley, if you're new. Uh, for those of you that do know me, you know I start out my intros kind of weird. Uh, they're not always the same because I'm not always the same. So today is going to be a full face of nothing new except, except an eyeshadow palette from Profusion Cosmetics that I got called Amber Eyes. You guys, it comes with a brush. I absolutely love the Profusion brushes, by the way, but look at this in the pigment. I am attracted to from here over for fall. This looks like a mixture of the new Urban Decay Honey palette, and then this is like the um, mixture of the, what was that pink palette that they did? I have dupes for those, by the way, in my past videos. If you're new, go watch those. But we're gonna be doing foundation today, and it's gonna be all nothing new. To prime my face, I'm going in with the Milani Soft Focus Glow in the deep shade. There is another shade here. Um, it's lighter. And I put this over my lips and my brows because it helps with the longevity of the brows and your lip product. Wayne Goss taught me that. Yes, he did. Okay, for foundation, I wanna go in with this Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. I have not used this for a hot minute. Um, I chose the shade Nude Beige, and I wonder if it's dried up. I don't know, but I'm going in with my Sonia Kashuk sponge. Let's see if it's dried up. It's getting there. It's getting to be the expiration date for this puppy. But let's use it up for today. I think it's a little bit light. But we're going to work around that. This is so beautiful, this foundation. So underrated. It's so gorgeous. It's radiant. It is medium, very high medium to almost full found, uh, coverage <laughs> foundation, obviously. And it's just perfect for oily skin, for normal to dry, for all skin types. It's just a wonderful, gorgeous $5 foundation. For a color corrector, I'm going into the Becca one. It's just what I have closest to me. I recommend the Pixi Under Eye Peach, Brightening Peach. Also, um, red lipstick. Any sort of red, orangey lipstick works. I'm just color correcting where there's darkness. And I'm not really worried about blending this out any. And it doesn't matter that I already did my foundation because I'm going to be putting concealer on these areas and blending it out as well. So there are no rules in makeup. You do your own thing, make your own rules. It is what it is. By the way, this foundation lasts all day long. It's super long wearing. I'm just going in with the Tarte Shape Tape for my concealer. I got something in my eye right now and it's burning like crazy. It's probably like the foundation or, oh no, I washed this with I washed this beauty blender, no, this sponge. I'm gonna, you know what, I don't even need to be correct. It's a damn beauty blender because it blends in beauty products. And beauty blender doesn't even have a patent on it, by the way, did you know that? So technically it's a freaking beauty blender. Um, what do you guys think about these big companies doing back-to-back -back sales? Sephora, now Ulta, is shifted from like, how many foundations? Probably eight, nine, ten, something like that. Now it's palettes. It's we can't catch a break. I'm not buying any of that stuff. I bought what I bought and I'm going to use what I bought and recommend to you what I think would benefit you, um, what you could skip over if you already have at home, like the ABH Luminous Foundation, L'Oreal Freshwear, very similar, Pat McGrath, same thing except it's way, way less coverage than um, the L'Oreal Freshwear. And it's really, really finicky. It's difficult to use, so I just don't recommend that one at all, at all. I have to say this, there is one thing that's new. It's not new, it's e.l.f., but look, guys, this e.l.f. powder, get this, get this. It is a dupe for a very waterproof, long-wearing, on sale at Ulta, uh, setting powder or powder foundation don't get it get this one i'm gonna tell you right now it's the cover fx um i'm sorry no urban decay one of those that's waterproof this is the dupe for it 
and it's completely, you know, it's translucent. So I use it to set my eyes. I can set my entire face with this and it gives the exact same results because I have that. It's Urban Decay All Nighter uh, Powder Foundation, which is going to be on sale. Skip it, get this one, get it off eBay because it's sold out everywhere else for a reason. I'm going to set my face and do my brows with the Urban Decay Brow Blade. Nothing new, and I'll be right back. Setting the brows with the e.l.f. Wow Brow. You guys, this is better than the Glossier. Boy Brow is better than any brow gel, high-end, or just in general that I've ever used. It's got, it's only 3 or $5, I think, and it's got fibers in it. It can really make your eyebrows stand straight up. You can, it's deep enough, it's colored. They have different colors. Um, I really just like it for an affordable option. As an affordable option, I'm going to take some translucent powder. Mine's going to be the e.l.f., just regular old e.l.f. It's going to be really inexpensive. Pouring it into the Cody Airspun cap because that's how I roll for the eyeshadow. And I'm going to be placing this under my eye so that I do not ruin my foundation when I'm playing with these colors because I do not know how they function. I don't know what I'm even going to title this video. Um, maybe full face, nothing new with autumn with fall eyeshadow tutorial. You guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Another note, I heard they're discontinuing the dream cushion. Buy as many as you can. This is amazing. I should have used this today. I just saw it in my collection. Literally just saw. I think that's what I intended to go in with, but I'm in such a rush. The kids are going to be coming home from school really, really soon. So I'm just trying to get everything together here. And my workstation is just not set up at all. All right, I decided to bring you in a little bit closer. My eyebrow is driving me nuts. We all have those days. I use the Cinema Secrets. I put that in my favorites video to spot clean brushes before I go in with um, shadows if I need to use the same brush. That's a secret. Cinema Secrets. You guys, I'm full of puns and dad jokes. If you hate that, I'm sorry. Not really. You can just leave the channel. <laughs> um, but if you... My sense of humor is ac actually very terrible. A lot of people think I'm not nice when I'm... In reality, I'm just kidding. Here's the Profusion brush. Dual-ended, really good brush, packing and blending. I'm going to start out with the shade Fearless right here. Now, typically, this palette was around $4.99, but it was off Amazon, and it rounded out to be about five something with tax there there is tax sometimes on amazon and sometimes there's not i don't get that but whatever someone explained to me in the comments what the hell that's about it's gonna be a really nice look i think i went in too deep i'm gonna go with uh likeable and i'm going to put that in the crease not like you can see it now but son of a gun i think i should have done it the opposite way but that's okay we can fix this situation. I'm going to actually blend that color in with the existing shade that we put down to make it a little less um, coppery, red, pinkish, whatever you want to call that color. Honestly, I have no idea. But this color is more of a mustard shade and it's actually matching. You can see it morphing. It's matching my sweater really nicely. So I love that. The next shade I will go into is outgoing. I don't know if I already did that. I'm going to put that like all over the lid. Maybe it's not going to be a cranberry. You guys, I don't know what I'm doing. I often change my mind. Like I said, I change my mind. But if you have this palette and want to follow along, you're more than welcome to. By the way, I'm actually, I love orange and purple shades together. They go very, very well. Just, you would think they don't, but trust me, they really, really do, and I just love them. I'm taking Madly. Hey, that's another one that's in there. One of their other palettes that I have. Oh, this doesn't have a mirror, so I'm using my camera as a mirror, guys, so I can't really see what I'm doing. In order to move you closer, I had to take away my mirror, so I hope you appreciate the effort I put for you. So by the way, I put up that depression video. Yes, we go through it. People go through it. I wasn't 
asking you guys for sympathy or anything. I wanted to let you know I'm here for you and my channel is a place where I want my supporters to feel comfortable going in with cozy, comfortable, and to know that they have somebody in a time where they feel like that. But if you listen to my voice now, and I coughed in that video, and I said I'd had a cough for a week, I was, I have acute bronchitis, and I'm taking care of it, guys. It's being taken care of, um, but that's probably why I felt overall laziness, malaise, and my body was hurting, and I felt like, almost like I had the flu, so... That's probably what that was all about. I'm just gonna take this Makeup Geek brush and honestly just blend these all together. I don't want this video to be too, too long. For the lid, I wanna take this deep shade right here called Certain and put it right here in the middle. You guys, this really does go with my sweater. I didn't even anticipate it. I was honestly gonna use these shades down here. Just shows. What do we uh, change our minds? Okay, and then I wanna go in with the lightest gold, pale gold here called Excited. So I got this off Amazon and Profusion has some of the best multifunctional palettes. That's gorgeous. These are so much better than some of my high-end palettes. I can tell you for sure, off the top of my head, the three palettes I use the most that are high end that I think are worth it and all, all other palettes you don't need and they're pretty much garbage. The Dominique Latte palette, the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, the Violet Voss palette, and there's one more that I can't think of like right off the top of my head. Oh, the Dose of Colors for Indication palette. That's all you need, all you need, period. And that's all I'm gonna do for my eye look. Putting on some lashes and mascara and wiping off the bacon, I'll be right back. You guys, I'm impressed. I, I'm not gonna put on lashes, at least not yet, because I'm using this CoverGirl Exhibitionist mascara, and yeah, I got a couple of flakes or whatever, but this volume with one coat and length, I'm just gonna leave it right there for right now. Going in with the Morphe Icon Bronzer. It's one of my faves, and I just keep forgetting about things that are my favorites with the Sonia Kashuk brush from Target. And I'm just going to bronze my face. It's perfect. It's not patchy. I love it. It's only $19, but with shipping, it's going to be more than that. Something comparable to this, I would say, would be the um, Milani. The new Milani bronzer, the satin one or whatever. I like that one too. But there's something about this one, the tone. It's just super creamy, effortless. I don't know. You guys, I have a lot of favorites. So Malani is definitely one of them. So if you like something like this, you can go ahead and get the Milani. It's almost the same thing. Almost, but not really, but almost. I'm trying to save you money. For blush, I'm going in with this collab blush. I almost said brush, but I really corrected myself. And just for fun, I get this at Sally Beauty Supply Store. Um, you can order it online. Sometimes they have deals of like free shipping, um, but I love it. I can just layer and layer and layer and it's never too much. It's the perfect shade. It's just beautiful. So I love that. I want to go pull out my Champagne Pop highlighter that I haven't used in forever. I'll be right back. I'm going to show you a swatch. Here it is because mine is shattered. Sorry. You guys, a dupe for the ABH as well um, is the Shop Miss A F19 brush, the A23 brush. Guys, I have my favorite Shop Miss A brushes video coming. And this highlight is a classic. Doesn't emphasize texture, it's just a great shade. Um, and with all these new stupid launches of Champagne Pop, don't buy into that, that's just, in the holiday sets that companies are coming up with, just another way to draw you in and make money. Basically, they just like, with the Naked palette, they just added a pop of color, the Reloaded one, when they took away the original one. And so many people bought that, I don't know why. Because take the pop of color away and you have basically a neutral palette. 
Yes. I'm not copying, but I'm trying to get the general message across as Whitney Hedrick. Mailman. I just added a couple extra coats of the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lash Mascara, Lash Mascara, to my top lashes. And for the bottom lashes, I went in with the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. I find that this is really, really good for the lower lash line. Another great alternative is the Pixie. I just can't find it. I was gonna use the tape, but I can't find it. My desk is a wreck. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. I love this Steve Laurent lip pencil that I got in my boxy charm. This person got a lot of shit for this pencil. I found, yeah, it was streaky and, and stuff like that after, you know, when you first put it on, but I've sharpened it since and it's perfect. It's literally, it's not patchy. It doesn't pill up. It's really, really smooth. That's what I mean about and I'm not perfect. I've made mistakes in the past about foundations. Uh, not giving them a fair shot. You need to get samples and use it with different primers, different climates, or weather conditions, I should say. So, yeah, I'm working on one right now. And I hated it, hated it, hated it. I was gonna return it. And it's the Smashbox one, you know, the new Smashbox 24 hour one. And I hated, hated, hated it. And I tried it again and I will let you know my thoughts in a video coming up. So that was the Steve Laurent lip pencil in Vogue. And you get a hell of a lot here. Then I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Melt Melt Melted Matte Lipstick in Child Star. One of my faves. It's a nice nude, light nude. But I put a gloss on top so it doesn't look so dead. Um, and I've even filled my lips in with that whole lip pencil before. This kind of does look dead, doesn't it? I think I'm going to let it dry down and put that Steve Laurent all over my lips. All right, that's better. Am I right? Going with the Ulta Ethereal Lip Topper. My fave. I don't know if they sell this individual um i got it as like a free gift just kind of putting that in the center and then right on the tip of the cupid's bow let's look at everything i think it looks pretty good i don't need anything else as you can see that wet and wild foundation is almost full coverage i mean i had tons of red marks you can obviously still see the texture but it's very muted and over here i had that humongous red red but it's all covered up. It's only $5. No, it does not smell like the liquid foundation at all. It has like no smell at all. So I would definitely go with that. Um, if you're just dipping your toes in the water, you know, and you want a really good foundation that is very high coverage, super, super comparable to, I'm going to say like something like the, um, it cosmetic CC cream, but better. I don't know how to explain it. Like a mix of that and the NARS Sheer Glow. I don't know. Um, but anyway, it's its own entity. I love it. I can't dupe it. It's great. Go for that. I love everything that I use. These are all like nothing new except the palette. I put nothing on my lower lash line. No shadows. I kind of like that look. And for setting spray, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Lumi Shake and Glow Dew Mist. And this is a dupe for a very high end product. And that is that, the finest mist, one of the finest mist. I have a lot. I also love the um, Pixie Glow Spray. That's really great. Let's just, let's just go all out. And then I take my sponge and I lightly tap it in. I mean, extremely lightly. I don't wanna lift anything. This is just gonna lock us in. And voila, I hope you guys liked and enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, I wish you would. And make sure to hit the notification bell. Just because you are subscribed does not mean you're gonna be notified of my videos. Know that. The bell is to the right of the subscription 
the subscribe button. Also, follow me over on Instagram. My handles are down below, but it's Ashley Lamore 26 and I post my videos there every single time I upload, so you will be notified in my stories or on my regular feed. Um, with that, I love you all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.